Let me start by congratulating uh, Impact Investing Ghana for having such a successful um, Impact Summit, and the summit was very uh, good. Venture Capital Trust Fund is one of the first institutions, if not the first one, to start working on impact uh, investing. Uh, as an impact investor ourselves, we look at the impact an investment is going to make, not just the financial returns, and that is where uh, we come in. And so we were the first institution that collaborated with Rockefeller Foundation in the U.S. and Gimpa to set up Gimpa Impact uh, Investing to monitor and their research and their report on impact investing uh, in Ghana. And that is how uh, it, it began in Ghana. And through the work that we were doing with Gimpa uh, Impact Investing, it led to the formation of the Impact Investing in Ghana. And so we collaborated with other stakeholders in the industry to actually come up with that uh, institution, which is doing a marvelous job. And so that is the work we've been, and we've been supporting uh, Impact Investing in Ghana, both financially, technically, and then uh, advisory form uh, as well. We are a fund of fund, and in selecting our fund managers, we we'll look at the impact they will make in the Ghanaian uh, economy. Some of the impact that we look at job creation, for instance, what, how many jobs are our funds going to create uh, by way of the companies, the SMEs that they support. And I can say that on top of my head, 13 funds are invested in about 70 companies and that have created about 17,000 direct and indirect jobs in Ghana. And to us, that is very important, not just their financial returns. We look at how many women entrepreneurs are being supported. So women empowerment, women entrepreneurship, how many of them are being supported through our funds? How many girls are being uh, educated? These are all impact that we look at. These are all part of the, the criteria we use in selecting our funds, the impact they make in Ghana. So for us, impact is key. And that is what we have been doing to support the Ghanaian uh, economy. The things that I'm proud of um, um, about Venture Capital Trust Fund, if you look at where we started, I mean, we were created way back in 2006. Our first mandate is to invest in the SMEs uh, through uh, uh, venture capital um, finance companies, or we call farm managers, and then to develop the ecosystem. The first is to invest in funds. And we started from scratch. When we started, there were no farm managers that were registered or domiciled in Ghana. There were just a few of foreign funds uh, doing a few investments in the country. But currently, we have invested in 13 funds, all of them domiciled in Ghana, which means that we have actually laid the foundation for fund management or for private equity and venture capital uh, ecosystem uh, in Ghana. So we have invested in 13 funds, and in all, through the little money that has been given to us by the government of Ghana, we have invested about 170 million Ghana cities in these funds. And the good thing is that for every city that we have invested in these funds, the farm managers are able to leverage on that to raise additional four cities, which means that the 173 million that we have invested has gone ahead to raise about almost 700 million uh, Ghana cities. When you put the two together, it's over 870 million Ghana cities. And we are very proud of that. Our farm managers have gone ahead to invest these monies and sometimes when you mention the companies for the purpose of uh, information let me mention a few one of the uh, the biggest pension funds in the in this country is Aziz pension fund they started with our, our funds we have a school called legacy girls before we invested in legacy girls they have a population of about 17 students and through our investment now they have over 600 uh, students girls Ghanaian girls being given very good education by this uh, institution. We have a company called Caltech, which is also into ethanol production. And so this is what our money is doing. Money given to us, we leverage on it, we increase it by four times through collaboration with our farm managers, and they are able to invest it in the SM sector. Now, when you talk about the SME sector, that is something everybody in Ghana agree that that is the backbone of the Ghanaian economy, contributing about 80% of our GDP uh, employing about 90% uh, percent of our population. Uh, again, about 95% percent of companies registered with um, the Registrar of Companies are uh, fall into that space. So if we really want to grow this economy, then that is the area that we need to give it attention. And that is the role venture capital has been uh, actually playing. 
So we are very proud of the fact that we've invested in 13 funds. Our second mandate is to develop the uh, venture capital and private equity ecosystem. And again, our first contribution, uh, our main thing, impact investing in Ghana. Our second baby is the Ghana Venture Capital Private Equity Association, DVCA. We started from scratch. We brought the industry uh, players together. And now we have an association that is the mouthpiece of the industry. And that has also helped in the next, in the last two to three, four years that we set up the association, we can see that the activities of the association or the activities of the industry has actually shot up. So we have actually laid the foundation for us to actually build on it to grow the, this industry in, in Ghana. And this is the industry that is doing magic in terms of financing of companies in Europe and then in America. And so if we're able to grow it to the level that we want, we'll see wonders uh, in, in Ghana because one of the critical uh, problems of the SME sector is access to funding. And so if we are actually creating, making it easier for them to have access to funding, then it's the, econ the Ghanaian economy that will be the beneficiary. It's a very technical industry, and so we need to produce or we need to have young men and women in the industry to, so that when our farm managers and others in the industry are making recruitment, recruitment it will become easier. And so we came out with analyst program. Last year, uh, we trained about 10 uh, young graduates. They are already on the field. They've been absorbed by our farm managers. And we started with another 10, making it 20. And it's a program that we are going to continue. We are also going to come out with another program, farm manager development program, so that we have a lot of farm managers in the system. So that when funds are available, they will be, we will get people who will deploy these funds into the um, um, SME uh, eco system. Uh, we have Ghana Angel Investor Network trying to bring high net worth individuals who have excess money so that they can use it to support uh, the SME sector or uh, young entrepreneurs. We started with it. We've handed it over to a private person to take it up and grow it to the next level. So in terms of support to the industry, uh, these are some of the things that we have done and we will continue to do that. And I must say that Venture Capital Trust Fund We've been operating on the quiet, but we are playing a very significant role in terms of supporting the SME sector to be uh, the backbone of the Ghanaian economy that it has been. And going forward, we believe that if we are giving the necessary support, we can play a much better role. Recently, the Minister of Finance has been talking about um, releasing or providing additional 200 million USD to the SME sector. We believe that we can play a significant role in that because of the fact that for every one city that is given to us, we are able to multiply it by four. And so even if we get a quota of that money, which is uh, uh, 50 million USD, we multiply it by four to make it 200. And that will not have any impact on the government in terms of debt. Let me probably end by even using one of our fund managers as an example. OASIS um, African Fund. We started his fund with his first fund was 10 million um, 10 million USD. We gave him 40% of that. But because he was able to do well, his second fund, he raised 50 million. And out of that 50 million, about 45 came from outside Ghana without adding to the desktop stock of the uh, uh, Ghana government. And that is the role venture capital plays. We believe that what the little that will be given to us, we will multiply it and the beneficiary will be the SME sector. And the final beneficiary will be the government of Ghana and the economy of Ghana.